Hey there, the competition in the budget smartphone is getting hotter like the deadly summer. We are seeing the rise of new brands and return of old favorites. And then this year we also saw the return of the popular Moto G series. Is it worth the hype? Let's see. So, starting with the first fact, the Moto G4 and the Moto G4 Plus will be exclusive to Amazon India. Now, the Moto G4 Plus will be available in 16 GB and 32 GB variants and the Moto G4 will also be available in 16 GB variant. Now, both Moto G4 and Moto G4 Plus come in two color variants, white and black. Okay, so now let's get on to the phone itself. So let's start with the screen. The Moto G4 sports a 1080p display with 401 ppi, which is a big step up over the previous Moto G, which had a 720p screen that was behind by standards of other 2015 budget smartphones. Talking about improvements, let's talk about the camera, which now has a 16 megapixel sensor and laser autofocus, which for me, was a much needed improvement because I have a hard time focusing with the Moto G3. The software is still one of the drawbacks and as early testing showed, it, it was having lag in taking photos, but then it can be fixed with an update which I hope comes soon. This Moto G is running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow which will probably get an upgrade for Android Nutella. Now what we like about it it is the near stock experience which gives that fluid experience when using the device and we also saw the return of classic motor gestures and notifications. Inside its packing Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 octa-core processor clocked at 1.5 GHz. Now if you are someone who is a little bit invested in these chips, you might know that this particular chip is known for its overheating issues. And I also feel that they should have increased the speed because now it has to render for a 1080p display. Aside from that, the Moto G also packs 2GB RAM for 16GB variant and 3GB RAM for 32GB variant. And looking at the little gap in price, I would suggest that you should go for the 32GB variant. The new Moto also has 3000 mAh battery with quick charge yet no NFC. My Moto G3 already has a pretty good battery life, so with this, I expect it to be even better. There are two SIM slots and a micro SD card slot for up to 128GB of storage expansion, and all of that is wrapped by a plastic design that isn't really that impressive to look at. It's slimmer, the camera is a little protruding, but in my opinion, the design of this phone isn't well made. I am impressed by the Moto G4. It is a good phone which is worth considering, but coming from Moto G3, it left me wanting for more. If I had to sum it up in a sentence, it would go like this. The Moto G4 is a very good smartphone, but just not a great sequel. And that is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. This is Arunab and I will see you next time.